Hello. This is a look at build 10125. This build was leaked yesterday on OS Beta Archive. Uh, new features in this build are uh, very small, mostly pertaining to UI enhancements, such as new icons. Um, 3D Builder is now able to be opened. I believe this is for 3D printing. And uh, you can build some objects within it and then possibly print them out. However, I've not used this application yet. And um, some people may be interested in such a thing. But I personally cannot afford a 3D printer. And um, there's Google Sketch, etc. That is probably more legacy that I would recommend. And as I've never used this application, I won't really go through it. But I assume it's for printing objects. 3D printer. Then the Photos app was updated. I haven't used the Photos app in a while. But they added a feedback program. I don't know when they added this. But you can see um, it will automatically enhance photos and stuff and it asks you which one you prefer. Personally I prefer a darker, higher contrast. Um, the new builds can be seen by going to the settings and scrolling to the bottom where it says about this app. This build is 15.508. And uh, Office, I mean, OneDrive was also updated. I don't know what is new in this, but it uh, has a new build number. Solitaire was updated. It was changed from Preview to Beta. They added a Networks Beta, which... Uh, just has it coming soon, so it's pretty redundant. Now if we click the icon here, you can see that there's a bunch of new icons along the side here. Apparently some of the drive icons are new. The blurry disk one looks the same to me. Cycle bin's the same. I don't think there's an easy way to add the this PC, etc. But they're new. Network, this PC, here, I'll copy them over here. Network. So apparently they updated some of those. Since it's only three builds newer than the previous build, there's not much new. Um, Edge has the most enhancements. Also known as Spartan. New Spartan now has, I'll read the um, patch notes off. You can now use in private browsing mode. Microsoft Edge contains a new start page. I don't know. I guess this is the new start page. Oh, yeah. So. As to be expected with any web browser, nice start page. You can now view and manage the history of the sites. Evidently, that would be Control H. No, let's share. That's weird. Hmm. Anyways, um, you can now use the pin to start. So if I went to a website, it's probably probably pin it from one of these no <coughs> maybe it's just pin to start the application no you can do it in a website you are browsing hmm Oh, 
going to start. But for some reason, applications are no longer pinning for me. Because I've tried pinning a few things. It doesn't pin. Which is stupid. Anyways, the new reading view, which you also saw. Um, was this one? No. Reading view. Reading view is here. So that seems to center everything. Remove. Remove the ads. Makes it a lot cleaner. So basically, for Yablock, I guess. See might just be more of a centered thing so it uh, removes hyperlinks it's kinda ridiculous it's more of a printing view I guess over the page supports printing and it's just the, the uh, Improve the reading view animation to indicate the page eligibility for reading. Taps now in indicate whether they are playing audio, which you can see by going to YouTube, clicking random video, and you can see it has the icons there. Okay. We have improved the F12 developer tool by increasing the functionality of the inspect element and view source commands and by adding a pause overlay when the debugger is at a breakpoint. For some reason F12 is not bringing up that menu. Maybe my F lock was on. That's probably the case. I personally prefer um, when it is attached to the bottom, like in Chrome, which is the lower half. Then usually I would just expect element and usually show up at the bottom. It's a lot easier than tabbing back and forth between this and the background. However, thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. It's available at OS Beta, and soon to be available at WZOR.